My name is Hilda Anderson Piers. I'm from South Indian Lake, Manitoba. I'm here to honor all Indigenous women, girls, and two spirit and gender diverse people whose voices have been silenced. Like as an Indigenous woman, like we're born with a bundle of rights and from birth to, to death, our rights are not upheld. There's constant violation of our rights. Like my sister lives in South Indian Lake and you know, we're in 2023 and she doesn't have running water in her home. And her home is in deplorable conditions. You know, there was commitment to repair it, but she's still waiting and I had to start advocating for her, you know, to champion her rights, you know, because she's, you know, um, impacted by the after effects of Indian residential schools too. And often when you have so much trauma, you often find it difficult to use your voice as well. So she asked if I could, you know, champion getting her home repaired and getting her access to running water. And we're still waiting. I come from a community that has been deeply impacted by hydro development and you know it began in the early 70s and we're in 2023 and our community is still deeply impacted by the impacts of resource extraction you know we've we've lost the use of the land you know which connects us to our culture our language and our identity you know there's devastating results to the land the flooding the erosion the trees and the water like and the quality of the lake. My father was a commercial fisherman and he was a trapper. And it was a really powerful time for us to, you know, be on the lake, um, picking the medicines, the berries, you know, eating the fish from the lake, eating the wildlife, you know, it sustained us and it kept us strong as a family. But after the impacts of flooding, you saw a lot of the, the social impacts of the flooding, like men who were once very proud men, you know, turned to um, alcohol and along with alcohol came family violence, like there and, and like the mental health of, you know, losing your pride, losing your livelihood. If you're coming into our territory to extract from our lands, we need to ensure that there's reciprocity there for us as well, and not just um, crumbs. You know, we want that equity, that equality in these resource extractive industries. So we're, we're gonna reap the benefits and not just the devastation, because we've seen that, like we see others reap the benefits and we're, you know, living every day in the devastating impacts that have been left behind.